What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, I had a couple of you guys ask me, hey, Chris, can you have a look at Ryugu, the asteroid? And I've been looking at that rock or asteroid for a while now. Now, if you read a little bit about it, it's Ryugu, but it also goes by 162173. Now, to give you some details, it's about a half mile wide, and that's right there at the equatorial region because it's kind of like a diamond-shaped thing, right? And this is Jaxa. Uh, also known as Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, sent to Hayabusa 2. It arrived at the asteroid uh, Ryugu around on, uh, I think it was around June 2018, right? Funny enough, they call Ryugu, in Japanese, for Dragon Palace. It's weird how they call it some kind of structure, right? Dragon Palace. Um, and the other thing is, too, this thing orbits. It's kind of real large elliptical. It orbits the sun every 1.4 years. But what I find weird about it is that it doesn't look like just a simple asteroid. Let's get into it. This is the page you can find on. Of course, this is JAXA again, Japan Aerospace uh, Exploration Agency. And you see navigation images from the Minerva 2 deployment operation. Okay. We're going to go down here. You go down the page. And this starts off. This thing actually got real close to it. And then, and then of course, it backed away, right? And you can see it right here. It's 9 20 2018. Go to the top of the page of these images. And you can see it says right here at 9 21. So this was within a day. Um, and you can see it started off as a very small speck, and it got larger, 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 larger. Now, the photos I'm going to show you, there are several here. There's the closest up ones I could find, um, and we're going to go over that. I've got this one here, I believe it is, and I've got this one here. Now, you're going to see it right here. I, I rotate it right here. You can see the, the craft is right there, and you can see the lower rocks. They'll be in the lower left right here. Okay. So let's have a look at this. This is cool, and it's really weird the way they're doing this because talk about blatant obfuscation. Oh, my God. Watch this. Now, it's one thing to have compression artifacts. That makes sense, right? Because you're going to zoom into a photo. But this is the way, this is how small this photo was to begin with. So we go ahead and blew it up for you guys, and this is what we got, right? Now, I just want you guys to just take a look at that blatant obfuscation. Look, at there is simply no information here at all. Look at this. None. Absolutely wiped. See that? But look closely. You've got this right here. Look at this object right here. It looks like a nice straight edge. See that right there? It's nice and straight. Look at the edge in that thing. Okay? But look at the way it's been painted over. Look at the obfuscation. It's the white pieces you want to see, right? That's what I find really interesting, how they really went out of their way to block this stuff out. Look at this. Here's another perfect example. Right here. Look at the way you can see the white object in or behind, I should say, behind this blur. Something right here. You can see something's right there. Does this. And then you get something that does this here. And it has a black circle and something right there. You guys see that? And I'm going to make this so you guys will see this a whole lot better in a second. But look at the blurring that's right over this thing. Oh, my God. You can see the actual detail right here. Here's some detail. Detail. That's the details. Look, at it just goes to show you how much crap they're really taking out of this. Now, the thing that stood out for me is this right here. This object right here. And I'll tell you why. What I find interesting is that it's got a straight edge right here. You can see it does this. Got a nice, it stops right there, the shadow right there. Goes like this. Now, it has this rounded piece right here. Why? Because this piece right here. This is probably straight it, because if you look at the shadow, it kind of echoes that, right? It's pretty straight, considering. And then you've got this curvature of this piece. This is the reason why we got like this. It stops and then curves over. Now, you've got this piece right here hanging out, right? And you can see this white goes right through the back of this blur. See this? This piece is coming down. Coming down like this. I mean, guys, look at this. This is crazy. Now, let's enhance this a little bit. I'm going to show you the steps I took. To try to bring this stuff out. Now, again, look at the, oh my God, look at the blurring on this. Literally taking the information right out. I don't even know what this is. This looks weird at the very top. You got this, it looks like it does this. And you get this dark area, been completely blurred. You can see something right there. It's round right there. And then it's blur right here. It just literally blurred the rest of that out right here. That's, that's crazy to me if you, if you ask me. That is just nuts. Check this out. Again, where is the information in this? Where did it go? Absolutely no information there at all. Okay, let's go on. 
So I'm going to dock it up a little bit and see if we can't bring it out. Now you can actually see the obfuscation even more so. What I did, though, is brought out the white that was behind this blur. And again, you can see this object right here. Something right here. Okay. And most of all, this thing here. I, and like I said, I'm not sure to even make it this thing. But there's a bunch. Something's right here. And you can see it literally has a line. goes like this. It comes down. You can almost see the straight line right here. Check this out. Right there. Very faintly. Is right there. Right there. Straight edge. See that? Going across. Now, whatever this thing is, it appears to be rectangular. Okay? It appears to be rectangular. At least that's the way it appears. It's hard to tell because of all of the blur, right? And then you've got this item right here sticking out. Now, clearly this thing has a shadow to it. And you can see, again, it echoes the ridge probably right there. And then it has this piece here. The way the sun's going like this, or light, it's doing this. And so it blends this to this. And that's why you get this weird curvature. It does this there. See it? See that? And if we bring it back up, you can still see that the way it, it has that rounded piece. Now, see that a little bit better now. White piece is what we're looking for, guys. Check these things out. You can see where they went. This is, this is funny. You can see where they went around this thing. Look at this. And yet you can still see something right there. Comes down. Has this black hole in it or circle, whatever that is. See that? It's so blatant. Look at that. That they went around the object and then took out the rest of it. See that? Then I brought up the exposure to see what this object really is. To me, guys, this is no way is that natural. This piece right here says otherwise. Here's another thing. It's small, but yet it's there. Let's go to the original photo. Right here, look at this. It looks like a panel of some sort right there. As this rounded area goes up. And then whatever this detail is in here. See that? You can see that right there. Now, to me, guys, this is a random asteroid flying through space. Come on. I think it said it was at 28,000 miles per hour, right? This is this is kind of wild to me because this looked like just a, like almost a three-quarter of a circle. See this? And then you can see it's just been completely taken out. Nothing there to see. And like I said, you can see like small specks of random clarity. And then the rest of it, no detail whatsoever at all. To me, that's just crazy. Now, if you break it up, all you see is these little pieces of clarity. By From a distance, you wouldn't even notice that. Look at this. By doing this and dulling it out, it looks like, okay, it's just rocks. Nothing more, nothing there to see. And you wouldn't think nothing of it until you zoomed in and really analyzed it. Okay, let's move on to the next photo. This one here, I was, I was saying, this is really weird looking, this thing. I don't even know what to make of this. Couldn't tell you. Let's go ahead and look at it first. And I'm going to rotate it after we... Uh, bring it up there a little bit. All right, this is what I'm seeing right here. Let's go down. So we can do this straight. Down here. It looks like it goes up a little bit and it has these weird designs. I'm not, I don't really care about those too much. This goes like this. Looks like it has these oval kind of openings, and this one's just hidden behind this. So that tells me two things. Either this thing part overlaps this other, this part here overlaps this part, or this is an obfuscation. That's what it tells me. Now, if you take note, I'm going to go ahead and sharpen this just a little bit. So you can see it a little bit better. You can see the lines. Okay. This is what I found interesting here. This goes like this, but look at the way this thing goes up and over. The other piece behind it does the same. Of course, it's not very smooth. Let's go ahead and round it off a little bit better. You've got this smaller hole in the middle. Now... Goes like this. Really, really weird thing, man. I, I don't even know what to make of this thing. This is cool. Goes like this. Comes down. There's another piece that comes down like this. And when I show you this thing, it's it's just weird. Here's another thing. If you notice this piece right here, it appears to be coming down like this and going back up. What they were trying to do is blend this into the actual background or what's behind it or under it. And you can see that. Let me just back up just a little bit. 
That item right here. Now, let's get into this. I brought the, up the brightness to see if we could find out what it is and burn through whatever garbage it was. Now, I want to jockey back and forth for a moment so you guys can see the lines like I'm talking about here and these other what look like these appendages sticking out right here. Now it comes clear. One. This may be another one just like this one here behind this piece. And check this out. It's like it's designed in a certain way. Okay. And again, we've got these features. Now let me jockey back and forth. And I want you guys to pay attention to the lines. That's blurred out. Now let me go ahead and finish this. And this is what we got. I just brought it out a little bit brighter, the part, so you can see them a little bit better. Now I'm going to go back and forth. The lines are very faint here for these things right here, these little weird appendages. You can just barely see them at all. But if you look at these objects right here, all these black areas, they're there. And the lines right here, and what looks like these square areas right here, just faint right there. Okay. And again, we've got this piece right here. You can see it going like this. You just got to burn through this crap. Now, what they have here is also this piece right here. And, of course, you get the rest of this up here. Now. But just by bringing it up, just by bringing the brightness up, that's what you see. Now, what that thing on the rock is, is beyond me. It looks mechanical or some kind of weird, bizarre shape mechanical crap. I don't even know what to make of that. And I don't even really care about this lower piece. I could really care less. However, because it's there, it makes you wonder what the hell this thing really is. Is it just parts that just somehow clung to this thing over a course of years? Or is it part of its actual structure peeking out of this so-called rock outer core? Right? Pretty weird stuff, if you ask me. Now, this piece here, I want to show you this is cool. Let me go over this real quick. Because this one here, this is neat. If you go on to their Twitter page, and you can see it's Hayabusa 2 Jaxa. You can see that right there. Nine tw uh, they did this September 21st, 2018, right around the time where I showed you the pictures, right? And, of course, they've got this GIF, which is basically uh, a series of pictures and just stitched together and just made into a movie, right? This is what's kind of cool. Watch this. And I'm going to show you this real up close. What I'm interested in is blob right here at the top. Keep it going. And right there. All right. Let me zoom in for this. Okay. Check this thing out. This, to me, shouts, screams mechanical. Look at this thing up close. Now, this is 500%. This is as far as I can go. Check this thing out. Now, I can't go any further in this, so you'll have to use your magnifier. Three things come to my mind soon, right off the bat. Mechanical. All right. Right here, there's a 90-degree corner. Now, I'm going to bring this a whole lot bigger for you guys in a second. Corner. Goes like this. You've got a half round circle right under here. Okay. And you have what looks like this small little, at the very nose of this thing, I'm going to call it a nose. At the very nose of this thing, there's this little round circle with a little dot type thing sticking out of it, right? This thing is not in any way, shape, or form natural. There's no way. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me back out of this again. And of course, you guys would get the page to this. Okay. Now, because I'm going really far and this photo is not that big to begin with, this is from their page now. This is not something I did. Again, 90-degree angle. Let me just back up just a hair bit. 90-degree angle, half-round circle with a little piece right here. It looks like it does this with a line, and there's like this little piece sticking out. You can't see too much detail because we're zoomed way in. It starts to distort badly. But you can see what looks like something coming down. Almost looks like a square or rectangular right there. Let's get back into it. Okay. So... Here it is right here. Again, I didn't do anything to this photo, guys. This is what it, this is how big it was. Just blew it up. Just to give you guys an idea. And again, oh my God, look at this. Look at the obfuscation in here. Just bits and pieces of any kind of clarity at all. The rest of this, completely taken out. Look at that. And I don't even care if it's compression artifacts. But if you're going to have compression artifacts, it's, gonna, it's not going to blur a photo. It's going to be just artifacts. 
but you'll still see the details. This is, look at this, absolutely redacted information, nothing there to see at all, okay? But check this thing out. Again, I didn't do anything, just blow the photo up. Check this out, 90 degree angle. Goes like this, kind of comes down. I'm not sure what to make of that, but it looks like something's doing this. Okay, see that? Right there. And one very faintly, at least it looks that way right there. But 90 degree angle, right off the bat, and there's another one right there. Can you see that? Right, right there, there's a little tiny edge right there. Right there, there's another small 90 degree uh, corner right there. Okay, right there. Now, take note of this. This is neat. This piece right here has what looks like this here. has a small circle knob type thing at the end of it. All right, right here. I'm going to bring this out a whole lot better in a second. Okay, so let's brighten this up and see what we can find. Okay. I'm just going to go back and forth. Now, what I did was I brought out any kind of details. Now, you can see them right here. Like this line here, like a design, it's in the photo. Look at it carefully. Right here. Starts right there. Look at the way it goes down. And I'm just going to let you guys pause this, but watch as I go down. See that? It's there. It's absolutely there. Comes down. Goes like this, goes off. Yeah, there it is. This stuff is there. And you've got these weird-looking shape design things. Here's the square. Here's this piece here. Goes up. You can just see what looks like intelligently made object. Now, let's keep going in this. Here's that piece right there. And you can see the details in this right here. What is this thing, guys? To me, this screams intelligently made. Now, let's back way out. Now, you can see where I brighten this thing up because I want to bring up that object best I can. Shopping it up a bit. Check that thing out. Seriously, what is that? But guys, listen, even if you didn't believe the rest of it, just this alone tells me that thing's mechanical. Coming down like this. Tells me it's mechanical. Here, half round circle. This on the very tip. There you go. Just that alone. What do you guys think? To me, it just screams mechanical. Whatever that thing is, is just, it's on it. Now, I believe it may be part of it. And again, what are we missing? What are we not seeing in the in the behind this other crap? Because like right here, you can see a 90 degree angle. It's white, goes down, and then gets lost in this blur. Right? See it right there? It gets lost in this blur. Now, I'm not sure if this is a cutout here inside this pot or if it's going along with this black piece here. Not sure. Don't know what to make of that. But there it is. What is that? Okay, and this is on the top of that rock. Now, if you look at the way that thing, if you look at that animation, you don't see any details like that until you get to that point. And of course, you guys will get that. Now, this is what I find interesting. When you see this rock, what the rock does this remind you of? Now, if you said Banu, you'd be correct. Let me explain. Look at the subtle differences, but the similarities as well. You got an asteroid Ryugu here on the left, and you got 101955 Banu. And guess what? Let me read off some little bit of details of these things. Ryugu orbits the sun every 1.4 years. Banu orbits the sun every 1.2 years, and it's in our solar system. Now, NASA claims, I think it's Ryugu, may be a threat. Okay, I don't think that's the case at all. Now, Ryugu is about, from the equatorial region, is about a half mile wide, where Banu is actually, uh, I believe it's three-tenths of a mile wide. So we're talking what? Just slightly smaller than Ryugu. Look at the shape of these things. What's the chances of these things doing that? Come on, guys. Come on, what's the chances? 
I think that these things are ancient space probes. Now, of course, I'm getting all sci-fi and I'm getting speculative on you. And it's nothing but pure speculation. I've always told you guys that. Um, but what's the chances? What's the chances of these things looking like this and they're orbiting in our own solar system and they happen to have these crazy looking objects? Now, uh, Banu, uh, some people have done uh, videos about this thing as well where it shows these weird little characteristics or some kind of weird little structures or something on them, right? Kind of crazy. Now, it was NASA's OSIRIS-REx that took the photo of this. And, of course, we've got the Hayabusa 2 that took the photo of Ryugu. Totally two different craft, two different rocks. I speculate that these things are some kind of ancient space probe. Or they have objects that are attached to them, and they're the ones taking the information through the solar system. What do you guys think? I just find it a little weird how they're just very much similar. Now, don't get me wrong. This um, Ryugu might have an extra bulge on the back of it. And same thing with Banu. Maybe it's more concave on one side or whatever it may be. But look at the shape of these things. How is it that they're very similar but two different rocks? And guess what? JAXA, NASA, they're going after these rocks. Why these particular ones? I find it a little odd. And they just happen to have these, at least Ryugu, and I've showed you here, what looks like mechanical items all over it. Is that the reason why they're going there? I say yes. You know, again, how many rocks are in our solar system that are floating around? And yet, let's go after these two particular rocks that have a very, have the, the shapes are very similar, right? And yet, they almost have the same orbits, or at least time of orbit around our sun. Same shapes. Same, and then they got these weird looking objects on them. Crazy stuff here, guys. I, again, I speculate that these things are nothing more than ancient space probes. And if they're not... It's just uncanny how they both have the same kind of shape almost, and yet we've spent how many millions of dollars to go out and reach these things and uh, check them out? I mean, there's so much information on these things because they've, um, I think it was uh, Arecibo that took, I don't know if it was both of them, but I know it was Banu, I think, that they've they've taken x-ray uh, images of it. And I believe they did the same thing with Ryugu. Uh, Jax had done that. But regardless, they know a lot about these rocks in, in depth. And they just say, well, at some point, they may be a threat. Okay. Is it possible? Sure. They're rocks, right? At least that's the way they look. At least that's the way they're telling it. They're asteroids. You know, a lot of people say, well, come on, man. These are just rocks. You can see that. Okay. Because they don't what? They don't look like our satellites we have out in space or the ones we're setting out into different missions. Well, let's go back to the Indians here in the United States. Okay. What do they build their structures out of? They're like a... Like clay and straw and everything else, they built it on the side of mountains, uh, so on and so forth. They built what they had back then. Now you look at the structure we got today. We got steel, wood, uh, drywall. Uh, you name it, we've got it, right? So does that mean that the ancient Indians' structures they're just natural, and it's uh, it's worn by the wind, and all of their structures are natural, or is it just because that's what they built at the time? That's what I'm saying. So just because we look at structures we have today and then look back at theirs, we can't assume that they're natural. Clearly, they were made by man. Same thing applies here. How do we know that these things weren't put on these rocks and they just happen to look weird in shape and they both happen to be almost the same design or shape-wise, and yet these weird things are on them? Is it possible they just piggyback these things on there just so they can, you know, just go around the solar system and check out different things with their instruments on these rocks? Or are they actually artificially made judging by the way they're actually hiding a lot of information and redacting the information out of these i would say that these are mechanical or at least intelligently made you guys give me your take on it let me know what you think but to me just some of the crazy things on ryugu itself screams intelligently made whether it's just the objects or as well as the asteroid itself again you guys throw your comments and thoughts below let me know what you think like and share always appreciate you guys know that also, don't forget to subscribe as well as hit the notification bell right down the right hand side so you guys will be notified of the next video coming up. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you on the flip side.